Hi, welcome to Galaxy Boy or 20 minute Galaxy Boy chats. I always fuck up my introduction. I am with a special guest, my boy, Dark World. What's good, my dude? What's up, y'all? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, it, it, it seems so weird because we don't have an audience, but once I post it, you, you notice that everyone's on it. So yeah, it's always it's always good to talk to people. But yeah, man, um, we've known each other for maybe a, a good year, maybe a little bit you, over a year, a little bit over a year. I actually don't remember when I met you, but. It's been a while. I don't know. Yeah, no. Um, I think I, I saw you comment on when I was doing the Space Station Entertainment podcast. You had commented, "Oh, watch the whole thing," and or you knew Masa Luna before that. I don't even remember how I even got in contact with you. I only I only knew about you because because of Masa Luna. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, no. Anyway, uh, then I bu- oh I bumped into Majin Buu over at Ted Brown. And we exchanged information. I listened to his music. I fucked with him. And then you just happened to know him, too. And I was like, uh, I don't know what happened. I think I we just ended up contacting each other. And then, I don't know, history from there, I guess. Yeah, time goes by so fast. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, man, you just dropped a, a new project. Um Something's terribly wrong. Yeah, did, did I get that right? I'm surprised you got that right. Honestly, I thought you were gonna fuck it up, but check that out right now. Yeah, yeah. Stream I, it. Stream the I, fuck out of it. Right I have, I have it in the fucking description for you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, something's kind of wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, everything's terribly wrong. Um, All the time. I've been listening to it constantly. I was. I had. To, I walked to my barber shop today, and I was had had bumping. It's just burn. Um, the single you had released before that, um, I think, uh, fuck, I, I, I'm gonna fuck this one up. Like, the, last, one the, skulls. the last thing on my mind, but all my covers have skeletons on it. Um, oh, shit. It's the, it's the, the last look, thing on my mind, though. I made a lyric video yeah, for yeah, it. That it's one, that, that one. one. Yeah. And then, uh, the Majin Buu record. Like, there's a lot of dope cuts in there. Boys Don't Cry. Um, wh- first off, where'd you get the name for it? For, um, the album? For, yeah, for the for the album slash. I don't know where are you calling it. Are you calling because you say you call it's it a, an EP. It's an EP at the moment because it only has seven tracks. Yeah. Um, I'll explain why I didn't because initially I had plans to release a whole album, mm. but that kind of got scrapped. But I'll explain that in a moment. Mm. Um, I don't even know. Sometimes I just think of titles like on a whim, mm. like at the last second. It just it just came to me. Like when I thought of the when I thought of the the cover. Mm. I was just like, yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> no, the, yeah. Uh, did the cover come first or the title come first in your head? The the title came first. That's kind of how the cover came together. Mm. At, at first, I was going to have um, blood coming from my eyes. Oh, but, shit. Um, I was, I was going to buy some some blood mm. that that's meant to be put in your eyes. Oh, shit. But it was all sold out online. So I just got regular fake blood to put in my nose. I mean, it looks just as good. So yeah. fuck it, you know? No, um... Oh shit! Okay, we're recording. I always get scared. I always get paranoid that this is not gonna be recording or something fucks up. Every You're tripping, time, man. I'm I be tripping, but uh, but no, <laughs> but back to shit. No, the cup uh, when it 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 looks really polished. Like the way you like the down to the cover art, the name, and the mixing quality and the beat selection, and down to the intro, of the burn. I was like, this sounds. This is a pretty solid ass project. I could see where you were going. That you you wanted this to be an album, you know, if that make if if that kind of makes sense. I don't know. It, it seems like a, a album quality to me. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> to be honest with you, most of the tracks on on that project mm. weren't a part of my album. No way. Uh, a few of them were made like <laughs> at the last minute. Wow. And and it and the best songs were made at the last minute. Which so. ones were that? Can you name a couple? burn no way um i almost said boys don't cry but that's that's i made that a long ass time ago uh mm. which uh what was it? i can't even remember my own yeah. songs bro i don't that, know why that's a, bu- crazy, a that. bullet with my name that one uh what doesn't kill you makes you wish you were dead just those three those are yeah. made at the last second the, the other songs damn good songs too. the other songs that i didn't put on the ep they're still on my computer, so I'm just gonna release them as singles. Mm-hmm. But um, um, I just 
put whichever song that fit the best on the EP, the, whichever ones that fit the vibe of it and everything, you know? I can't I can't put songs that don't match the aesthetic of the the project. I keep almost calling it an album, but it's not. You know? I, dude, I wouldn't say it was an album because I was like, I was like, this is a pretty solid ass fucking album. Like a good, like uh, even back to how you're talking about the catching the vibe and the fluidity of it. It's really like it flows so good, and like I never get like, like, um, like I notice I'm like, oh, that shouldn't have been there, or like it, it strikes my ear weird, you know, uh, when I'm listening to the whole album. It just just flows. Yeah, the streaming service is considered as an album because when you go on Apple Music and Spotify, it's all under the album thing. <laughs> but whatever. It's, it's all good. It's a fucking album. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, I, I don't feel any type of way when people call it an album. Mm. You can call it what you want, but yeah, it's good. It's good. The music's good, so. Oh, dude, and that guy who fucking DM'd you, what, what was oh. your reaction to that? And so oh. if anyone doesn't know, can you kind of tell the story a little bit? Uh, about? About the DM? You know, for oh, people uh, who, uh, for context for people who don't know. Oh, okay. So I get this a lot, but I don't ever show it because it doesn't really bother me that much. But it's kind of getting to a point where it's annoying as fuck. Um, I get people telling me to return to rap music because when I started making music, it was, it was hip hop. Mm. And uh, a lot of people don't really like what i do now and for some reason they get offended by it like bro if you don't like what i do just listen to something else like just unfollow bro so many rap artists right now you can listen to why would you waste your time being bothered by what why i do you know it's it's annoying but uh so they got so he told me in my dms i'm trying to remember what he said oh he said make rap music again or i'm unfollowing like yeah just unfollow me and get out of here I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit at all like seriously it's it's annoying but yeah so if you're gonna tell me that shit suck my dick <laughs> I, I don't even care i'm usually i try to be a nice person but if you're gonna say something like that then i'm not i'm not gonna be nice to you because i don't i don't know yeah yeah, bro. When I when I saw that, I was like, "What?" I was like, "To me, I'm a big fan of your music, and I still listen to hip hop. I still listen to other stuff. You know, I if you have a good quality music, I'm gonna listen to it." And so, I, when I heard that, I was like, "What?" I was like, "Who?" Like, I can't imagine someone hating on your style and your and your own individuality within, especially in Yakima. Like, you know, I I love what you uh, tweeted. Like, uh, my first concert. Uh, People are gonna go, uh, gonna start shooting me because they never heard rock music before. <laughs> that shit, I, I, I cry, I laughed out fucking loud with that. Yeah, people just hate on what they don't understand. You mm-hmm. know, um, a lot of the demographic here, they're they're more attracted to uh, the rap genre. So if they see something different, they're like. I'm not fucking with it. It's weird as fuck. You know, this person looks weird as fuck. Uh, I'm not fucking with them. Yeah, that's weird. You know, you'll have this gangster rapper who barely has any like mixing on his vocals and just like this basic ass gangster rap beat that you've probably heard from uh, thousands of others, and it has like a like a hundred thousand views on it. You're like, what? You're like, you're like, what type of shit is this? It makes me makes me frustrated sometimes. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you know. Yeah, they used to bother me so much, like, early in my <laughs> career, or I don't know what to call it. It's not really a career, because I don't make much money off of it, yeah. but it used to get on my nerves when I see, like, stuff that I didn't think was top quality get more plays than mine, but at the end of the day, I like my music more, so that's all that matters. Um, You say you started out as rapping in the hip-hop. What... what- what inspired you to transition over to this, you know, what would, whatever you would call this? I don't know. Would you call it punk rock rap or rock hip hop? I don't know. What would, you, what would you call it? Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of my music. That was kind of like, like two questions in one. but Yeah, I'm want... trying to piece it together right now in my head. Um, I just call it alternative alternative pretty much whenever you see the genre on apple music it says alternative mm. and when you look me up on google it says indian alternative oh, okay. but um uh, i don't know i growing up i listened to a lot of music like mm. it's not like i only fuck with like a couple of genres i like everything if it sounds good mm. to me i listen to it 
um i listened to a lot of rock music and i got most of my um favorite bands that i listened to from uh the video game guitar hero oh so shit i grew up playing that so much <laughs> so that's kind of where my favoritism for the rock genre came from also from video games um uh, uh, movies i get a lot of inspiration for my music from movies if if you can't tell but uh yeah yeah because i'm a huge mu- a huge horror movie fan as well no dude you are like horror everything like anytime you're posting like just got the evil dead movies and v- vcr or or just the silent hill games like you know that's just like your aura and i like this stuff you know it's just it's dope yeah so <clears throat> I don't know. I I love I love hip hop. I love rap. Uh, I grew up listening to it. My whole family listens to rap, so I couldn't get away from it. So, mm. um, like I said, at first I did rap, but mm. it's not something I seen myself getting better at. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel about it. But when I tried getting into uh, melodic music at first Mm. i was like i enjoy making this a lot more and it's a lot more fun to me and Mm. i don't know i just vibe with it a lot more and to be honest uh, although i like rap a lot i feel like alternative and pop music hits me harder than rap does Mm. but i love all music equally so yeah yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's kind of where, you know, you start out rap, and then you're starting to be a little more melodic, and then that kind of pushes you towards, you know, the style you have today, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to be different, too. Like, it's not going to be easy to make it out of here mm. if you're doing the same thing as everybody else, and this mm. isn't, um, I'm not talking shit about oh, other yeah, rappers and okay. The Valley, because I love some of you guys. You guys are cool. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like it'll be easier to make it out if you make something different. Hmm. Like, what's the word for it? The scene here is saturated. That's what I'm, that's the mm, word I'm looking for. Every Everybody kind of makes the same sound. And it's kind of hard to pick out what's different and what you like when everything sounds the same. Hmm. So I'm just doing me. I like this. I like this. Shaking up, shaking up the the scene a little bit. Watch I post this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip this. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like, change the sound. Oh, Dark yeah. world's calling you guys out, man. No, no, I love you guys. <laughs> no, but um, oh yeah, and you're talking about you know trying to uh, blow up and stuff, and I'm not saying you blew up or anything, but what, what, how, what was your reaction when someone reacted to your music? I saw that little video you posted, like, oh my god, to- that got me so fucking happy. Like it was so random. I searched up, <laughs> I searched up my uh, what's it called, my music video for the end, and uh, that video popped up, and it was a review for the music video. I was like, what the fuck? No way! And then I watched it, and then it was like the coolest thing ever because I was starting to realize like these people, those those guys are from Canada, so wow. I started I started to realize like shit, there's people all over the world that hear my 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 music and it's i already recognized it before but it just started becoming more apparent to me that i'm kind of all over i'm not trying to say that i'm a big ass artist or anything but if i look at my my um what's it called my stats on my uh distro kid Mm. it says there's listeners in other countries like fucking everywhere dude it's crazy like, there's people listening from Russia. There's people listening from Germany. It's crazy, dude. The UK, I love the UK. So it's really nice to see people listening from there. And I get DMs from people from other places, people that um, have trouble with English. So, I mean, that's not, I, I wasn't trying to offend it. Try, try, try to say, uh, this, uh, explain the scope of, of things like even though they don't know english they can still rock out to yeah exactly see so it's 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 something that's different to me that's why it makes me so excited uh my my uh little following stretches out beyond where we're at right now and right it's beyond only, yakima it's only getting bigger too 
Um, no, dude, that I would fuck. I I can't imagine your excitement because I would be fucking tripping balls if someone reacted to one of my songs and and critiqued it, but like in you know in a good way, and then you know, um, um, just kind of it just kind of making making your music seem more real, and you know, knowing that your music isn't going unheard when you post it, and I don't know. But. Yeah, the best part about it is that they loved it. So, but uh, I'm not gonna lie; some of the comments kind of got to me a little bit. And, <laughs> yeah, it's all good though. I mean, people like to troll, so of course it's you, man. I rarely get any hate though. Throughout my entire um, journey of making music, I never really got any hate. I've only ever got like maybe two comments, and they're most likely trolls. But I never really get any hate. So, I mean. I take that as a win. But some people like to say, if you don't have haters, I mean, if you have haters, you're doing something right. But I don't know. I don't always agree with that. Sometimes yeah. it's true, but some, sometimes I don't agree with it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, what were some of the things that, that they were saying, if you don't mind me asking? I don't even remember, honestly. It's always stuff like trash or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's just... It's just... I know what you mean. Because I've had hate comments on some of my old YouTube music videos and just people just like... She's like, oh, the beginning was cool, but then like you kind of fucked up at the end, or just like something specific. Like yeah, that. I don't, I don't ever really get any deep critiques <laughs> about my music. Nobody ever really goes into detail about anything. If they, if it's a negative comment, they'll just say trash or garbage or something. Nobody ever really goes into detail because they're trolls. So whatever. Yeah, but no, um, no. Back to the album though. This, this whole album flows nicely, and I like the 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 prom night ep you dropped too that was pretty hard i love i love that one i still listen to it so much um it, it sounds like a prom night it literally does like like the whole atmosphere of it yeah I, the theme i went for in that project was like a like a 80s um pop kind of vibe um with the i forgot what the first track was um pretty little liars i think that was the first track uh it had like a 80s pop instrumental on it yeah. and uh yeah every project i try to do something different so if you if you notice that there's um differences between the last project and this one you can you can you can tell yeah no th uh, this this one you just dropped too um oh yeah where, where do you get your beats why where, where, just like youtube i get my instrumentals from youtube but i don't like just go and find stuff and just download it um i know a couple of uh producers mm. they're not really they aren't really big at all but um i'm friends with a couple of them and they actually play their own instruments and stuff and mm. do all that and uh whenever i need something i email them or message them on instagram and i um talk to them and tell them what my vision is for the instrumental or i call them up or something and uh, they try their best to match what i want and then they're like check these check this out or they make me a package of stuff and then they're like, check this out. And then I go over it. And then I'm like, all right. I don't get it for free, though. I pay them still. But it's very cheap, though. So it's all good. That's, um, pre that's pretty sick, being able to find producers that and then kind of create your sound uh, and communicate with them with that. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's good having people that you can actually communicate with. Because it's harder when you're trying to find something on YouTube that fits your vision mm. it's it's harder than having somebody to talk to and tell them what you want mm. you know what i mean so yeah. yeah no i definitely i definitely sorry i didn't mean to cut you off like that but <laughs> but yeah i get i get that you know because i think that's why i've always stuck to doing my own beats because i'm able to kind of you know create my vision and and kind of map it out better but um I feel you. Um, but no, the, I think that's why the fucking album <laughs> flows so good is because you didn't just fucking pick beats from YouTube and just, you know, all right, well, okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, right. I spent a lot of time picking the instrumentals and spent even longer writing the songs, except for the ones that I made at the last, at the last minute. But this is probably the most I spent on a project compared to anything else I've done. Like, I really tried to, um, perfect everything. And to make sure everything's the way I want it to be, 
and uh, that's not something I always um, done. A lot of my past music is made very quickly and at the last minute, but this project I've spent more time on and more and put more thought into. Yeah, and it fucking shows. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, um, I, I, I'm. Do you like to pay attention to plays? Do you do you look at your Spotify artists? I don't like to look. Yeah. Honestly, like I look later, further down the line. Mm. But if it's like a week after a project comes out, I won't look at it because if I see something I don't like, I'll just I'll be discouraged and my whole mood will be fucked up. But uh, yeah, I look just not just not right after I post something because I'm so dumb, bro. I do I I I'll upload it and then that day <laughs> I'll look at it like a dumbass and. Yeah, no, it's it. Go ahead. I used to do that when I was strictly on SoundCloud. Like I would open SoundCloud like every fucking hour and looking at the plays, but I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't do that anymore. So I know the music is good, so I don't give a shit how much people listen to it. Because for the most part, I make music for myself and for me to enjoy. And I haven't enjoyed my music um, as much as I do now compared to the music I made before. Because my older music, sometimes I go back to it and listen to it. And I'm like, fuck, this is garbage as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of my older music is private. It's all, that's all the rap music. Yeah. So, um, Drop the rap tape. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> I'm just sometimes I like to listen to it and compare it where, where I'm at now. And it's kind of mind-blowing, to be honest. Because the quality, the songwriting is all improved. And the mixing, everything is just... And do you mix it yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm clean mixes bro yeah i just spent a lot of time figuring out different uh techniques uh, layering and everything and uh, it paid off i guess hell yeah bro well um i think you know it's time to wrap it up um uh, great no this is dope bro like pop you in for 20 minutes we talk about the album and get deep and I appreciate your time coming in here, bro. You know, yep. and you know, learn, learning more about you and, and some of the stuff. Um, that was fast as fuck. Not gonna lie. Yeah, bro. Trust me. Yeah. Um, but we're we're trying to think of a another uh, concept for a longer format. But uh, for right now, we're just doing these twenty minutes for now. Yeah, I feel like there's more you want to say, but we're running out of time. So yeah. that sucks. Hey, everybody. Again, stream. Something's terribly wrong. Right now, it's good. You better listen to it. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, my dude. Appreciate sure. the vibes. For sure. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, That's it, yeah. Check the description for his music. Um, I'll probably have the mu music video that we were talking about in the description and a bunch of other stuff that we referenced. Uh, yeah, we have it.